What's up, everybody? It is good to be back going yard sailing again. Uh, I have my friend Thomas, the artist formerly known as Timmy, behind the camera. Say hi. Hello. Uh, throw a little clip of yourself in here just so people remember you. You might be wondering, Scott, what are you doing? Why are you on YouTube again after two and a half years? I'm so confused. What is the title of this video? Uh, it's Retro Hunting Showdown, Friday versus Saturday. Well, that means you probably did not watch the little video we made that we uploaded recently describing what this is, why I'm back on YouTube, all those things. So go check that out if you have not seen that yet. The quick rundown right now though is myself and my friend David. Hey. There you are. It's me, Dave, the Fry Guy. You'll see me Friday yard sale hunting, and you'll see me on this channel. We are both game hunters. Uh, we've known each other for a while now. I go out on Saturdays. He primarily goes out on Fridays. I only go out on Saturdays. Um, and we've had this debate for a while of who uh, gets the better finds, what day is better to go out on, and we decided to create a challenge based around that and do these episodes where uh, we go out, we find the stuff, and it's not just based on value, but the cool factor, the rarity, and then at the end of the video, uh, Thomas will be the referee slash judge and determine who the winner was. So now that I've given you the quick spiel, still go watch the other video because it has a lot more information in it. I'm gonna get in the car so we can actually go find some stuff. So let's go. All right, we're coming up on our first sale, Thomas, in two, over two years, two and a half years. Two, it hasn't been that long, I don't think. It has. No, there's no way, dude. You're gonna have to go back and look. First sale, actually had stuff. Obviously, we got heavy rain. Demon Souls, Grand Theft Auto V, and a Guitar Hero World Tour, all a dollar each, so four bucks. I got a tech deck <laughs> uh, for a quarter. Good morning, how we doing? Pretty well. All right, so from the sale we just were at, uh, a $20 complete in box, we tried to get it for 15, but I paid 20 because it is all complete in there and it's actually a nice shape and it looks like they used it maybe like two times. So uh, we're in a community sale right now that technically hasn't started yet. Doesn't start till nine, but there's already a couple people set up. So I think we will continue to walk around here, be polite and uh, see if we can find anything else. So I wanted to ask, uh, I wanted to ask about David's trip without spoilers, because I know you're not going to tell me what he right, found. Right, right. But on the first trip with David Garage Selling, what would be your thoughts? Like, what did you feel about it? Um, I'm not telling you anything. Nothing? Nothing. Zero. What? Sorry. You'll see, man. Okay. It was good. It was good? I had a fun time. Okay. As long as you had fun. Yeah. I'm okay. David. I hope Dave had fun. He seemed like he had fun. He said he was never going to do it again. He yeah. Yeah. Him. He actually never talks to me <laughs> since then. <laughs> So, just stopped at a community yard sale this morning at 8 a.m. Uh, it was kind of one of those, you know, trailer park-esque type 55 and over community yard sales. But found this igloo cooler, standard igloo cooler, but the coolest thing, and they don't do this anymore, Marlboro branded, a la 90s when you could do cigarette ads and such. So, these actually go for pretty decent money, kind of a cool find. On um, to the next one, see what we can find. It's about, it's almost nine o'clock in the morning now. Hit up two big community yard sales. Found something pretty decent at the last one, which I'll show you guys in a second. Um, but at this point, we probably only got about two or three more yard sales to hit up. And then after that, it's uh, thrift store pawn shop time. Take a quick look at Facebook, offer up, see if there's any other good deals popping off. But uh, I'll show you guys in a little bit what we found at the last community yard sale. Hold on, let me put you on speakerphone. All right, here we go. Now, what's up? You, what, what do you want? I said, don't tell me how's it going, but how's it going? <laughs> well, <laughs> we're so good that we're already done. No, I'm just joking. Um, it is, it's actually going pretty well as a start off. Uh, there's a community sale and it is slowly starting to open. It's not supposed to open until nine, but we've already got some stuff at the community sale. So, uh, but that's all I'm telling you because Thomas won't tell me anything about uh, your day. 
check out this sweet PS2 stuff, guys. <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't PS2. Uh, this sale, though, over here with the really sweet green vehicle. I'm not a car guy. I'm sorry. Um, it's a, that is a car. It is. Oh, thank God. All right. Um, but they had a like new. He said he's, well, see how like new it is? Yeah. Uh, but he said it, it didn't have stick drift. I specifically asked. So if he's lying, I'm coming back. No. Uh, controller. Two move controllers, Skyrim Special Edition, Mortal Kombat XL, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, and a Minecraft. It was thirty-two dollars. How much, Thomas? Did he originally say for the PS4 and this? he asked for uh, three fifty? Three fifty. It was yeah. not pro. No, it regular. Was... Not even a slim. Hello. Hi there. You're at a church rummage sale. And they actually have uh, oh, a game that is empty. Okay, cool. Of course, Left 4 Dead is... Why is this at a church room? I, yeah. But they threw the game only, away. Only Doom should be here. Sims on PC, of course, is in there. So bird watching binoculars come in handy to read yard sale signs also. Uh, estate sale. Oh, we've already been to that one. God damn it. No, wait, did we ever find... I don't think we found that one. No, that was the one where we, we were driving it. all the way. State sale, 35th Avenue. 2567 <laughs> 35th Avenue. They worked. <laughs> oh, not the... not the Barbies. Oh. I had this car when I was a kid. I remember the Gator car. And a Michelangelo. And Michelangelo, the new chocolate. Radical! So, Dave, what you got there? So, I don't know what year this is from, but it's definitely old. I don't think McDonald's even uses yellow wrappers anymore, but it looks like some kind of belt clip cheeseburger holder. Probably some McDonald's <laughs> toy. <laughs> for, for when you need to holster it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, actually, quick yeah. access. Quick access to a cheeseburger on the run. But for 25 cents, I couldn't say no. It's a pretty cool little item. So, definitely vintage on that. All right, just stopped to Cash America Pong. Picked up a bunch of 360 games here. Vin Diesel Wheelman, Prince of Persia, Mortal Kombat vs. DC, Evil Within, and the Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition. Plus, we got Sonic Force here on the Switch, loose. 18 bucks for everything. I don't think you can beat that. We're going to keep going. We still have about, about an hour or so left to continue hunting and see what we find. So, you know, there's some nice freaking games in this garage right now. But they're technically not really for sale. He's being nice and letting us look at them, but he, are, he was gonna sell them. That's a uh, digital box. Just a twenty-five. Yes. Um, it's not in here, but this is the one that would have come with the figurine, and it's not there. Reach in the box. <laughs> the Saturn. Damn it. So, that doesn't happen very often where, so I ask, do you have any video games? No, well I do, but you know, they're not for sale. What do you have? Sega Saturn, N64, Super mm -hmm. Nintendo, and it's like, yeah, I'm like, can I just see it? You care? And it was right behind him in the garage, which was weird. I'm like, why is it in the garage? He goes, ah, I'm gonna make a game room at some point. I was gonna do it in the garage. The price stickers that were on all the things that you saw were his prices. I thought he bought these maybe and just never took the price stickers off. He was going to sell it all. And then he said, what did he say? He, he changed his mind after feeling the nostalgia That's right. of the games. So he then put everything back and stored it away. I, this was priced pretty damn low for an authentic copy of it at 20 bucks. So I kind of, I went for the, is, would you sell anything? And then he's like, eh. And I'm like, how about like this? Mm -hmm. And he goes, okay, so I bought that for 20 bucks. So not a garage sale steal, but easily half of what it goes for. And then this was the last minute. I was just like, would you sell me one of the Wii games? This was five bucks. So for $25, the best part though, is uh, I have his number, he has mine. If he decides to sell more, which he has more stuff at his parents' house, hopefully, and he said he had the figurine. He knows where the figurine is for the <laughs> I was like, oh my God. So we'll see, that might pan into something. If anything, I told him like, hey, I was total transparent. I'm like, I sell games, I buy people's collections. I have a huge collection of stuff. Maybe if there's some things you're looking for that you might want, we could trade, whatever. So we'll see where that goes.
We are here in Bonfire Games in Tampa, Florida. This gentleman owns this place. Thank we you. are ready for the showdown. Are you ready? Oh, of course. I was born. Okay. I, uh, I have a, uh, the belt, the championship belt Ooh. that the winner will get. I made it myself. Get ready. A drum roll, please. Thank you. The Kinect. Yes! <laughs> yes! 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 I knew it, dude. I knew it. Oh, yes. my God. That's worth at least $30 in trading credit. Careful. Yeah. It's held together by uh, hot glue, some duct tape, and a lot it's of love. It's a belt. There's it's a belt beautiful. Here. Yeah. yeah. The, the quick story, the actual belt it's attached to, uh, a customer in another game store, he his belt fell apart as he was standing there and handed it to me and said, can you throw this away? <laughs> And I was like, yeah, I actually, I need Ooh. a belt, so. I gotta be able to touch it. I'm gonna yeah. hold on to it after yeah. this week, so. Yeah, yeah. right, right. I'm sure, let's get it sized. The idea of this belt is that That's the awesome. winner obviously gets to carry it in the next episode, but the loser has to add an item to it in the next episode. So they'll acquire something silly, goofy, stupid, and put it on the belt. So, either way, that is the championship belt that you will never see. <laughs> but. I'm going to put this towel here because I'm going to bang on this table a lot and I apologize and he's going to drum. So we're going to try to keep it as quiet as possible. So um, we need to find out who's going to go first. So Mr. Referee, what do we... <laughs> you could call it if you want to call it. I'll... I think I think you, you should... Oh, we'll, we'll defer to you. Yes, yeah, I'm going to yeah. go... Tails never fails. Good catch. <laughs> oh, hey! hey! First one of the day. All right, I am going to, I'm going to defer. I'm going to let you go first. Okay. So we are, well, the way we're going to do this is since you guys have already seen obviously what we got, but we haven't seen what we have each got. Yeah. So we're going to start off with like the lesser items and then go up from there. So first I have a sealed Pokemon. So no. <laughs> <laughs> My heart so, just stopped. Uh, I'm going to start, let's see. Any game called... Earthbound. Yeah, yeah. I'll start with something that's topical right now. A PS3 copy of The Last of Us. Okay. Which I got at a pawn shop, Cash America. Yeah. That was right. Uh, complete. Slight water damage, but it was five bucks. Like, what is it? Like the $20 game right now, so it's not a bad little Does it pass the smell test? It does not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, we just, just when we're in the stores, we just smell every game. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, okay. You want to make sure. What else are you going to do right now? So that was, that was... My, my starting salvo. Well, battle against that's where that. you're starting. Yeah. It's going to be a long road ahead. So, <laughs> all right. Since it is a retro hunting showdown, the first thing I, I got okay. is this retro <laughs> 80s I knew it. McDonald's <laughs> burger. You can wear it on your belt. <laughs> Unload burgers when you need to. Yeah. Completely convenient. Oh, just right. them up. To let everyone know, we do have a little audience. Our cameraman, who is kicking ass right now with the setup he has. Uh, Eddie is filming for us. We also have some peanut gallery. Make some noise. Woo! We got Jerry and we got Sean. Uh, do you remember the people Employees that here at Bonfire. So. Actually, um, I do. When you whipped that out, I literally thought it was like a, a croissant from like... <laughs> I had a burger. Like, I'm going to lose. I'm just going to start eating now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. Next... Uh, this was actually the first find of the day, and I'm going to keep it PS3 themed. Okay. Uh, these were a dollar each, so we got all complete. Guitar Girl World Tour. Okay. Which, what does this go for? <laughs> it was like $10. $10, ten whatever. Uh, we Depends. got a GTA 5, which is not like $10 title. But then uh, we do, I'll say that one last. We have a, a complete Heavy Rain. Okay. Um, and a complete Demon Souls, Ooh. which I know this gentleman right here. I think the name of That's the store, a good game. Yeah. store bonfire. Yeah. Something to do with the souls. No. No. Okay. So there, there you go. So far, you have zero games out. You have a, bur <laughs> oh a burger. <laughs> well, I'm gonna keep with that theme of zero games. <laughs> and what speaks more to retro oh, collecting than it. everybody's favorite thing in the '80s and '90s, which is nicotine, <laughs> a Marlboro igloo. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I don't have much of a chips team. Jerry's holding up. He's holding up a sign back there. Yeah, I don't that know. That smells terrible. I don't even know why. Uh, that smells, so. yeah. Let me see this. So go ahead. Yeah. I don't really have Still works. It's the largest spittoon I've ever seen. Ugh. Yeah. I mean, I guess it is retro. You only have of course it's retro. It's cigarettes. You, you only don't have to smoke 500 packs to win this. Correct. Actually, yes. yeah. Don't forget, you, you can uh, make some judgment calls here on, on certain things. I've... 
I'm, I'm judging constantly. <laughs> All right, next, I will say, we have, this was, we had gone to the community sale. I'm talking to you about this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We had gone to a community sale, and uh, we ended up having to go back like twice because they weren't ready. Okay. And it's supposed to be a, a PS2 find, um, but it turned out that the mom was wrong. It was a PS4. Yeah. That's pretty similar. Very yeah. similar. Both came out in the same era. Yeah. Not at all. Um, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> they had the PS4. Well, how much was it? Uh, he wanted three fifty. And it was not three dollars and fifty cents. Yeah. It was great. Three fifty. Yeah. No, it was it was not a pro. It was not a slim. It was the original PS4. Yeah, it's vintage. Yeah, yeah. it had a it had ten years. A couple controllers. I got one of the better of the two controllers, the blue okay. controller. Uh, we have two of the move controllers, the actual PS4 charging ones, and then I had four games. Minecraft. Yep. Always a hot seller. Uh, Mortal Kombat XL. I have a Dragon Ball Fighters Z and a Skyrim Special Edition. All of these are also in nice shape and, and as complete as a PS4 can, game can be if it has a manual or not. So, what do you think of that? All right, it's time to go. Can you bring up a damn game now? Game. Well, <laughs> he, he didn't buy one game. Oh, there's there's well, tapes, we're supposed to buy there's games. books. Well, if we're going to have to throw a flag in a moment. Yeah, yeah. If we're going PS3 theme. Okay. I picked this up literally for a dollar yes. at the pawn shop. Uh, 007 Legends on PS3. Other than GoldenEye, probably one of the more sought after 007 games. So. Yeah, yeah. Complete. Eh, that's alright. It's not as good as Demon's Soul. It has no souls. I mean, the it's, it's, yeah. yeah. I, I will say for a buck that's not bad, and the, the tip you want to do is to find the employee at the pawn shop that does not care. Yes. And then yes, they don't want to ring you up, so it's just a dollar. Yes. It's clearly yeah. the time. I'm pretty sure it doesn't go in the cash register. Right, yeah. Right. No, yeah. It was very hit that or miss. That man earned one dollar. Yes, right correct. Now. Very hit or miss with the pawn shops of like, trying to find that person, because I did not find that person. No, I found no. the worst person yes. to get my Last of Us for five dollars because she wanted six. Yeah. She was trying to hold Take five dollars for Last of Us? Yeah. Interesting. Go ahead. Oh, okay. I, I, <laughs> Next, uh, we will go with. Put on the record, please. A uh, stenographer. <laughs> a, a, a Michael Jackson experience. Ooh, does it have the glove? <laughs> it does not have. Uh, the but it is complete. But it was a dollar. Yeah. Dollar <laughs> at, a, at a pawn shop, uh, and that was a you know, random bin of crap that they clearly was, didn't care about. The rest was garbage. Yeah. yeah. And they, uh, I gave it to the lady at the counter, and she's like, I don't know. And then she went to the back, and Tom was like, oh no, they're going to tell they're you. They're going to look table. it up. Yeah. yeah. That's what they always do when they go to the back. Because Michael Jackson's still like a 15 maybe even $20 it's almost game. 20, yeah. Probably yeah. Plus 20 yeah. Yeah. There we go. I mean, people sure like that guy. Huh. So maintaining the PS4 run, even though you just switched to Wii. Uh-huh. There's a caveat to this game. I it's bought, not in the case. I bought this <laughs> sealed, which is no longer sealed, for five bucks. Okay. I opened it. Why? Because you... I wanted to play the DLC. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Flag! <Blair! laughs> oh, no. You, took out the you brought it open. You brought it open. It does not matter if it was sealed I, or not. I respect it. It's an open one. Last of Us Remastered on PS4. I don't flag. care. I played the DLC. Okay. It was awesome. It's worth the flag. For, for, for sports Done. people, that was our yellow flag that just flew across. I really like that game, though. It, to, don't but, you know, like I it's a whole other video. I'm sorry impersonal. for blowing on people's ears by slamming them on the table. <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> sorry, Eddie. Sorry, he has, Eddie. He has earphones on. Um, then we had to... I got... Technically, I got two more. So I don't know how... Like, two more, like, fines. I, I, I can do two more fines. Oh, okay, good, yeah. good, good. So we're, we're going to even out here. He's got so, two more cheaters. <laughs> <laughs> I make fun of him all the time yes. for buying Wii's. Cause like I swear every time he goes out, he's like, "Well, I got a Wii." And I'm Son like, of a so I bought I bought a complete in box. Oh, Wii, lovely! But it's it's like new. Okay. They used it for for one game. Baggies, the whole nine yards. Everything is wrapped up okay. in there. The Wii Sports in here is still sealed. Oh. Because in the system was a Wii Sports Resort. Delicious. Where was that case? The case I had. The case I added. I was at home. Uh, oh god, no. Pikachu. I, I'm saying it though. I'm, I'm telling you, I added the case. But the game was. Yeah, yeah. The game was in the system. And then, technically. <laughs> technically. I respect your honesty. Mm -hmm. the I'm impartial. Wii Remote Plus 
was on it, but obviously it didn't come in this box either, so I took so you put it separately. Yeah, yeah. It was twenty bucks for everything. Oh, so that was fifteen. No, I wanted it to be fifteen. Okay. I made okay. the offer of fifteen, but he didn't take it. He That's originally... why we record them. Yeah, they don't remember. <laughs> I, I, I think uh, he originally wanted like. He said 30 or 40, so clearly that was going to be 30. And then when <laughs> I opened... a great tactic. Yeah. Give him two numbers. Yeah. Then, then they can pick. When I opened the um, Wii Remote, the batteries had corroded inside. Yeah. And I was like, hey, I don't know if this is going to work, so let's, can we go a little lower? So anyway, Sweet. it did work. It was good. Uh, let's see. There we go. Can I have my case back? No, you something? cannot. God damn it. All right. Well, let's keep with the Wii theme here. You know I can't. <laughs> <laughs> sale. Without finding a Wii system. In case, so, in case people don't know, the state of yard sales is, is Wii. There's a lot of Wii's. Yeah, yeah. A lot of Wii's out there. So, Wii system with two controllers. <laughs> yeah, two motion oh, plus oh, adapters. Okay, okay. Matching nunchucks, but this was 25 bucks. Came with two games. Okay. Sonic what? Which one? Sonic Super and the Super Rings. The best one. Complete. The best one. Yeah. And... Sims 3. If you yeah. hate your life that much and want to be somebody else, by all means. Okay. Why are you gonna, gonna, why you gotta insult me directly yeah. to my face? I, 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 I do, I don't know about you, I do feel that I'm almost a brand new Wii. I am so sick of this pandering. I... Don't well, that's true, yeah. We, we wasn't made in mass production or anything. No, they're pretty hard to find, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got the flappies. Yeah, you, at least yours has the flappies. Yeah, mine does have the flappies. My, of course mine. Uh, it's a little brown, probably because it was living next to that Marlboro. Oh, what? Okay, first of all, oh my God. nicotine rarely stains paper. Uh -huh. We know this. Yeah. yeah. All right. This this last find. I'll get a microscope. <laughs> smell it. <laughs> That's the end. <laughs> gets the smell test. Uh, it's I'm, vintage. I'm assuming it's good you checked to see if there was a game in there too, right? Uh, and there was not. Okay. Mm. No, gotcha. So. so the last find. Uh, it has a good story to it, and okay. I think the story holds almost mm. more value than the actual items found. Um, we come across this guy at oh. a yard sale, uh, a gentleman named Miko, I believe. Yeah, and really nice guy. Yeah. Like the nicest. He didn't need to be that nice. Yeah. Do you have any games? And he says, no, no, no. At least not any I'm getting rid of. And I was like, ooh, what, what was that? Uh, well, what do you have? Um... I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I collected a lot of stuff. For what systems? Oh, Sega Saturn, uh, PS1, N64. And I'm like, really? Okay, it's getting, it's getting a little tits. I'm like, can I at least look at them? Can I at least look? Uh, yeah, I guess. So then he steps like five feet back, and they're in this garage. In, they were right there. Yeah. Like, you bagged took no time, time. yeah. He, well, what had happened is he was originally going to sell them, and then... He was putting them out, and he had priced some of them, and he just changed his mind. Yeah. From looking at them and getting installed. The anticipation's so. killing me. So, he had, like, Ark the Lad complete in box. He had Zelda Collector's Edition uh, Ocarina on N64 complete in box. Okay. So, yeah. I was able to leave with a couple things, but... What's in the box? <laughs> so, I got, a, I got a Resident Evil 2, and he priced it 20 bucks. Okay. Which wasn't a bad deal. Ooh, that's pretty yeah, um, and then at the very, very end, I was able to like be like, can I get one more thing? Like, so for five bucks, I was at least able to get a Mario Party game. So I walked out of there. This was probably overall the, the best, you know, like for five bucks for this. I mean, that's, that's a really good price. But hopefully, he I have his number, he has yeah. my number, and hopefully we, we can come to some sort of agreement. He had, which you guys obviously have already seen, but yeah. he had um, the box and manual for the gauntlet on N64 that comes with the pewter oh, figure. With the figure in the box, though? The figure is at his parents' house. He says, I know where the figure is. So that was, I'm, I'm hoping, tough to, one to find. hoping at least to get that item at the end. Sweet. So we'll see. I already texted him again and replied. So that's how that works. That's All right, you're, you're ending. Last one. Bring the heat. It is a whole mess of Xbox 360 games and one Switch game, too. So we'll start off with the Switch game. Loose. Oh, I love that one game in there. What is it? Sonic Forces. Okay. Yeah. You and the OK Sonic games. I know. Yeah. The Genesis game. What do you want? Couldn't find Sonic 06. Uh, all right. <laughs> which goes for way too much. Yeah. 360. Dante's Inferno, yeah. which I know is a game that you like. Yeah. Part one of a trilogy. Prince of Persia, Evil Within, not worth a ton, but 
Only for the break. I it's love Evil Within. It's a very great game. game. Yes. Uh, you know what? I've never played it. You need to play it. It's good. It. It's good. Is that an agreement yeah. from the Penis this, Gallery? Yes. Yeah. Shinji Mikami, this was the last yeah. game he directed, I believe. Okay. As like actual game director. He actually recently retired this week, I want to say. Well, maybe I'll find a 360 on the next up. Amazing uh, boss battles. Really? Yeah. Okay. That, that's, yeah. Everybody's favorite action hero, Vin Diesel the Wheel Man. Can't wait for him <laughs> in... Arc 2? <laughs> Fast and the that, Furious 43 or whatever. I saw that out for Arc 2 when he showed up. I was like, this game's gonna suck. <laughs> uh, Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. Platinum hits. And something I realized didn't, didn't realize actually had some value to it. It's the Ultimate Edition. Ultimate yeah. Edition Fallout New Vegas on okay. that. Also works on Xbox One. Yeah. Yeah. Say, yeah, it does say that on the top. That might be. Some people collect that stuff. And then finally. What? Cardboard box. Oh. Uh, <laughs> all right. Okay. So, I feel, at least on my end, like we got almost the same amount, which is pretty impressive, and it both includes a Wii, but very clean Wii, uh, almost like new. And this story alone, I mean, it did come with a few items, but the story alone, I feel, holds a lot of uh, weight there. If I may, please, this is a retro hunting showdown, right? Okay. Fair. And, you know, as discussed, it's not just specifically video games, you need to have some variety of other products. Like a 1980s McDonald's cancer store, a cancer-ridden igloo <laughs> cooler. Yeah. Some variety here. But it's ultimately up to you. So, <laughs> so the vote is for Dave. That's interesting. Um, but wait, the vote is also for me because I'm on the Yes, it's yeah, exactly correct. So um, here's my thoughts. Mm. I love Demon Souls. Oh, shit. I'm currently playing, when I, in an hour, I'll be playing this again. Okay. okay. So, like, you, you got that there. This story is incredible. Great game, too. That was I, fun. I can't stop thinking about how many cigarettes that person had to smoke for that. Before you say the winner, uh -huh. the audience is actually a winner here, too. Because I'm going back, if you've watched my channel for a long time, I'm going to be doing random game giveaways again every episode. So... Leave a comment down below, thumbs up the video, be subscribed. Uh, the comment, you need to, you can say whatever you want in the comments, you can comment as many times as you want, but the, the comment that we're going to need to see from you has to have in there uh, your favorite character in a video game that is based off an animal in real life. So you have to have that somewhere in your comments in there. In there, in there. Lola Bunny. In there. Lola Bunny. <laughs> Uh, so, there you go. Be subscribed, yeah, thumbs up the video, leave that comment down below. The winner will be announced in the next episode. Everyone's going to think I'm a furry now. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever that next episode comes up, so you'll have to keep your eye out for that as well. So, anyways. We await your decision, but I'm going to have to go with Scott on this one. Oh! It's just as close than I thought, honestly. Like, I forgot some of the... You got some good deals, some really good games. Go Scott! So it's not interesting. It is interesting, yes. he's it right. Is, yeah. It is interesting he won, yeah. I, I will take this home back where I made it, and I'll put it, <laughs> I'll put it in the same place where I was storing it. Did you track. have... A quick question. Do you have all these kind of adventures just sitting around? Or I, have to, I have to give a shout-out also to um, Unlimited Games, uh, a friend <laughs> store here. Uh, for donating the game. You got all those for free? I did. Wow. And they, they have a few. There's 70,000 more there. Yeah. So, uh, when I was there, they had 174 copies. It's down, it's less than that now. That's, yeah, yeah, about. So, you need to, in the next episode, acquire something either while you're out hunting or if you don't find something cool while you're yeah. hunting. It has to be light enough to, <laughs> to, add to, the to go under this belt. belt. Yep. Yes, but okay. it's, it, it's oh your duty God. now. Hey. Good, well good battle. Good, good battle this good week. Battle. Wait, 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 wait. We forgot <laughs> that the real winner is me. Oh, yeah, he yeah. had my Bionicle book and wherever the tech, 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 tech is. He got that Thank sweet you, tech yeah. tech that he yeah. opened. He yes, opened the I did. Tech. I did. It was sealed. 50 Let, cents. 50 cents. Let us know who you think should have won. Was, yeah. was I the real winner? Was, was Dave? Was um, Thomas. Thank you all for watching. Uh, again, enter the contest, and we will see you in the next episode. Love you all. Peace. Peace. some quick shout outs we have youtube channel bonfire games rising from the grave uh go check out bonfire games on youtube come on out eddie this is our in-store filmer and editor and just awesome guy his uh youtube channel is retro repair yt again link in the description down below and dave you 
you don't have anything. So just subscribe to this channel, subscribe to Scott's Watch, and you'll be helping uh, Dave out also. So thank you. Bye. Peace. Okay. And in yeah, three, two, one. So you come over here. Oh. <laughs> Wait, right now? Yeah, yeah. Stay there. Oh, <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Stay. All right, there. all right.